All right, John Deere Blitz Black Paint. You can uh, get this stuff and spray it on. It's almost a dead-on perfect match. You can't even tell that it's not uh, Harley-Davidson denim black. And I'll, I will show you here in this video how to spray it on to get a perfect match. Or you can spray it on a little heavier and get kind of like a hot rod satin finish. Um, these cans, very cheap. $7.99 at John Deere. Then you can also, if you have a spray gun, step up to the quartz. Quartz are uh, $11.99. And then the thinner, I think it's just like two or three bucks. And you mix it eight parts paint to one part thinner. They also have in gallons, but uh, I have found that if you let this stuff, after you open it and you let it sit on the shelf for quite a while, it will tend to break up and you can't get, can't get it stirred back in. Even with a paint shaker, you can't get it stirred back in together. So I suggest spraying it in quarts. You can do an entire bike with just, a, just over one quart. I usually always have a quart on hand and a couple spray cans because these cans, believe it or not, you can get just as good as you can with a, with a high dollar spray gun. But uh, in this video, I'm going to show you kind of how to prep a panel, fender, tank, whatever, and then uh, and spray it. So here we go. Okay, to prep your panel, fender, whatever you're going to paint, you're going to need a, need a few things. First, you're going to have to use a red Scotch-Brite pad. You can get these at pretty much any automotive place. And you're going to rough up your surface you're going to paint so you can't see any kind of reflection in it. Uh, and that's usually good enough. Paint will stick to that. This uh, Blitz Black, it will stick on bare metal, on paint, on everything. After you do that, you're going to want to clean it up. This stuff is prep all. It's wax and grease remover. You can get it at any Walmart or automotive store. I'm actually out, so I'm using uh, some final wash, uh, some surface cleaner. You're going to just take a, a, take a rag, put some of that on it, go over your panel, wipe it down, and then uh, follow it up with a tack rag. Uh, this is my panel I'm going to paint. Uh, I'm sick of telling my real estate agent to come pick her sign up, so uh, I'm going to paint it. Uh, like I said, just put some of your final wash on the rag, just wipe it down side to side. You're pretty much just trying to get all the wax, grease, any fingerprints. After you scuff it, you don't want to touch your part very much with your finger because the oil from your fingers will go on there and it'll come back to bite you afterwards. So wipe it down, then just uh, let it air dry. Once it's air dry, follow up with your tack rag and we're ready to paint. All right, after you wiped it down, follow up with your tack rag. You can get these at an automotive store and Walmart. You just go over and it picks up the fibers from your uh, paper towel is all. I taped off half of it. I'm going to do this side real light. And uh, this is more of the method to show you how it matches the denim black. It might get a little noisy here. I'm going to turn on my fan. It is hotter than hell in here today. I don't know if you can see that, 113 right here in my paint booth. This little plastic shit gets hot, but it's good for baking on paint. So, uh, shake your pan real good, and go real light coats. I usually do about three really light coats. Your overlap, I do about 50%. See how my spray, if I go across, my next one is going to be right in here. You do that all the way and it'll be pretty good even coat. Doing it real quick, real light. This coat is mainly just to get it to stick to whatever substrate you're painting on. Granted, most of the time I like to paint on top of primer. You don't want to, you can spray this stuff on bare metal. But I don't like to do that. I like to get it, put on an etching primer, a regular primer sealer, and then this, and this stuff will last forever. So let that, as hot as it is in here today, see this is already dry, and that's drying real quick. So I'm just going to go right away again. This coat here will pretty much cover it. You won't see too much of the opacity or, you know, the underlying whatever I'm painting over. The sign's good because you can see how well I'm covering it. Hold the can, I don't know, 8 to 10 inches away. I 
like I said, light coats. You don't want to cake this stuff on to get a match to the denim black. This is going to dry up pretty quick here. The bad thing about this can here, you can see I've been spraying from it for a while. It uh, it's tended to start to clog up, so I'm getting little splatters. What those do, it'll make a satiny, almost glossy part. So you want to try to use a new can every time. This, like I said, this can, this is just, I do little parts for it. And then your final coat, just to pretty much, you're trying to cover everything. You don't want to get it too, too wet. Dogs out there. They want in and see what's going on. There we go. Let that set up, and then I'll do the other side in a little heavier coat. Okay, this side. The first coat is going to get pretty light. Again, you're trying to get paint to stick to the substrate of what you're painting. If you do it thick, it won't stick. Paint sticks best to paint, but you want to kind of let it just ease in and work its way in. So the first coat always do just a light coat. Again about a 50% overlap. Cover up your Yosemite Sam or whatever he's supposed to be. The good thing about running it uh, a little heavier, you can do any kind of touch up. See where it's kind of streaky in spots? Just real light to even it out. I said with as hot as it is, this is already, this is dry, this is tacky. So I'm going to go right in and do my second coat. Second coat I'm going to lay in a little heavier. And just slow down a little bit. And you're going to let it get pretty glossy. Someone's calling me. I've got to turn my phone off. Again, I'm probably, what, six, six to eight inches away. I'm usually not this close, but with this heat here today, if I don't get this close, the, uh, the paint's going to pretty much dry before it ever hits the panel. I'm trying to do my paint in the morning before it gets too hot. You can see that coat's pretty heavy. Our last coat's going to go on real thick. This can's about out, so I'm going to grab a new can and uh, see if I can do it. All right, I got a new can. Uh, just something I thought I'd mention. I don't know if it's true, but I was always taught on your can there's going to be a mark of paint. You want your nozzle pointed that way. They say it sprays better, better like that. I don't know, but I've done it and it works for me. So I'm going to do it in the third coat. I'm going to do four coats on this heavy. And again, this isn't to match the HD denim black. This is to get more of a satin look. If that's what you're going for. So we're going to lay it on pretty heavy. Oh yeah, look how well this new can sprays. Each pass you're going to see underneath it, the last passes that you did are going to be pretty glossy. You want to see the reflection. there. It's drying pretty quick so I'm going to go ahead and throw on my final coat. I'm going to back it up just a little bit for what I was spraying. This is more or less getting it all even. Finger again. 
tire. Switch to the phone. My name is Dextrous. I don't know, I think that's what you call right to left. I can't really do it with my left hand. When that sets up, that'll be a lot more glossy. And uh, you'll really see when I pull this paper back here. Okay, here's, uh, I'm going to take the paper off so you can see the difference. As you noticed in the video, I didn't tack this side. And I got all kinds of poo-poo in it. Uh, that's why you got to remember to use your tack rag and, and tack off the paper towel crud. I don't know if you can tell from that angle. You can kind of see a kind of reflection or a glow. This side's a lot more glossy, where that side is uh, is pretty much flat or matte. But it's a real close match to the denim black on the Harleys. Like I said, I paint this stuff, you can't even tell the difference. It takes a little bit of practice, but uh, like I said, just do it light coats, you'll match it up. If you want something a little more satin, lay it on heavy. This stuff will dry with the heat today in about four or five hours. But uh, I'd let it sit overnight. You give this stuff a week or two weeks, it'll set up pretty, pretty tough, man. This is good paint. It's John Deere paint. It goes on tractors. So it's going to last a long time. It's going to hand up, handle to the elements and everything. And it won't do that chalky white stuff that the, the flat black primer does. This is actual paint. So it's going to hold up. So uh, hope it's informative and helps you guys out.